Well, let's go to Abby, who's on the line in Thornville, Ohio. Abby, you're on the Ken Coleman Show. Hello, Mr. Ken. Hi, how are you, Abby? I'm doing all right. How about yourself? Well, I am living the dream. How can I help today? Um, I just didn't think I'd ever get to talk to you. Uh, I guess uh, for years and years, uh, I've struggled about what to do with my abilities. I know what I can do. I know what I can't do, but I have no idea what to do with it. Okay. Well, let's just start with what you can do. And I would prefer that you tell me the things you do best. What are your top talents, strengths, skills? What are they? Um, well, I asked my friends, and I always have a hard time when I listen to you just making the difference between the talents and abilities, what you can do and what you'd like to do. But um, my number one talent and ability and skill is I'm, I'm artistic. I'm a good artist. I can do – I know I can do that. Okay. I'm good at, let me interrupt I'm good at you. merchandising. Okay. Let, let me interrupt you real quick. When you say artist, just be super specific. Is that – what is that? Is that painting? Is that hand drawing? Yes. Is it graphic arts? Painting, what is it? I can do anything that I try. Uh, mostly painting, drawing, uh, collage. Mm -hmm. I mean, the visual arts. The visual arts. Okay, great. Now, you were saying, I interrupted you. You were saying merchandising. You're good at merchandising. What does that yeah, mean? Yeah, I worked part time for a few years at a gallery shop, and I was great at doing the displays, arranging the store. I mean, I helped the sales. I did. I love doing it, and it was good. So I and but I didn't know that before. I've been a stay-at-home mom for twenty some years. Mm -hmm. So so what part of that, that was a skill that part, I found? Yeah, was it the? Did you enjoy the sales part more, or did you no, enjoy the setting no. up of displays, a visual? I I hate sales. That's what I thought. So I don't know why you said that, but you like setting up the displays, the promotional displays. Love, yes, and I love talking to people. Mm -hmm. You know, welcoming them in, but. I there's like a huge block with sales and okay good 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 myself. all right all right so yeah. we've got painting drawing the visual arts we've got you enjoyed let's just call it decorating and arranging okay. is that fair okay is that right yeah okay great yeah anything else on that talent side the top um, things you do anything else I can I'm not good at taking charge of something but I'm great at if you tell me what to do give me an assignment I'll get it done great. and I'll do it well. Great. Okay. I'm not good, you know. All right. That, now. I, the second in command kind of thing. Don't I got put you. me in charge, but that's tell right. me what to do. You, that's right. You're a great sergeant. You are an, you are an executor. You get things done. Give you a list and you're going to get it done. Well, uh -oh. <laughs> I'm not a hyper spat. I'm not like a type A hyper spat. No, I understand. I'm not real, 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 yeah. but I'm dependable. Gotcha. All and, right. Let's move on. That doesn't okay. matter. That was That's me just trying to fill in the blanks real quick. I get what you're saying. All right. Now let's move over to okay. what you love to do most. Okay. And I think uh, you know what art. it is. Right. Art. I love to, yeah. I mean, that's that's the only thing I've been able to count on my whole life is art. All right. Have you ever and, made uh, money? Have you ever made money for your art? Not hard, not much. And that's my, that's my I issue. Understand. I've been struggling for years. Mm -hmm. of, you know, I make a little bit here and there. Mm -hmm. All right. Let's but talk. Most of but, my but let's talk. Life has been raising boys. Right. But let's, let, let me ask you this. How much money do you have to make? Are, is there a pressure on you to make a certain amount of money? Not necessarily. I mean, we're able. We've we're able to manage money on my husband's income. Okay. It's how not, much? How he, much money would you like to make? I, I'd I'd be happy with just a couple thousand a month. Okay, great. Is that why you, you call? Know? Is that is that really why you call today, Ken? How can I take what I do well and make a couple grand a month? Exactly. Well, basically, I mean, it boils down to that. Um, sure, that's what I'm I've saying. Tried, I've tried. I've taken advantage of opportunities since the gallery closed last year. I mm -hmm. don't. I always used that money to pay for my supplies, to pay for my classes. Right here, let's and let's here let's let's that's just what focus. I want to do. So okay. there is a let's boil down this idea of painting. So when you're painting on a canvas or you're drawing a uh -huh. picture. You're very okay. much alive. There's no, there's nothing that makes you more alive than that. But it, it is really not about the utensil, whether it be a brush or a pencil. And it's not even about the actual picture. It's the function, the, the activity of creating something. That's mm -hmm. what it really is. Am I right? Am I on track so far? 
Yeah. 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 So here's yeah, the thing. So if you want to make money being creative, that expands your opportunity. I understand that in Thornville, Ohio, it's going to be hard to make a good living, a couple grand a month painting stuff. It's just not the market. You know what I mean? I get yeah. that. But you've limited yeah. yourself. I want you to be expanding your ideas today as a result of this phone call. Specifically, do you do you sit down and meet with some local interior decorator? Why not? doesn't mean that's what you've got to do. But why don't you sit down and find out more about it? You know, because that role in that store, you enjoyed creating a display. You were creating. You were doing the same thing you do when you paint. You're doing the same thing you do when you draw. You're creating a look, a feel that's trying to put out an emotion, things like that. I want you to sit down. Here's your homework assignment, Abby. I want you to think about all the ways that you could be creative and get paid. So that means, and again, I'm just throwing out ideas. You're the one that will really figure this out if you just trust what I'm about to tell you. I just want you thinking, how can I be creative? Where can I be creative? Is it interior decorating? Is it uh, doing specialty uh, painting in people's homes? What I mean by that is you've got painters, but what if somebody wants to do you know, some type of specialty paint and a, and a way of doing it and it has a some type of design in it or it's got an effect on it, maybe you do that. Maybe you become a specialist at that. I don't know. I'm just trying to brainstorm because that's where you stand. You know what you're talented at. You're very, very creative. You love being creative and you love connecting with people. So I think you want to be creating something that makes people's lives better or makes them happy. And I think you're limiting yourself to art, meaning a piece of art that you're now trying to sell. I think you want to get in a situation where, again, whether it be event planning uh, or in the event business, you know, working for somebody where you've got to do some creative design, uh, maybe looking at places that, uh, again, uh, specialty places, local businesses that may do uh, all types of, of artwork or stencil. I mean, you just need to do some research about all the different ways you take that artistic ability and the love of creating something and put that together. This is not difficult for you, but if you can come up with five, six, seven different things, uh, then you begin to go meet people in that space in your local area, talk to them. You've got all the artistic building world. They can train you to do some of the disciplines. So I think that would just really open up a lot of opportunities for you. And you've just been too limited.